Hey everyone, it's me again and today I'm going to give you the answer for this riddle, the what is the three digit password riddle and I'm going to give you a new riddle for you to think about and later on as always I will give you the answer for that new riddle. So the riddle that I gave you like in July or something was what is a three digit password and X, Y and Z are going to correspond to three numbers. So it says the, the rules are the following. So it says X must be smaller or equal than Y and Y must be smaller than Z. Z must only appear once in the password. Um, so this kind of gives us, give us a clue. Okay, this needs to be the first number only once so it means that these two guys may be the same and because they may be the same they may be repeated okay the product of the three numbers must be equal to 36 so x times y times z must be giving you 36 and the sum of the three numbers must be 13 so x plus y plus z is going to be 13. So I'm going to give you the answer for the riddle. So um, if you want, you pause it before you listen to the rest of the video. Otherwise, stay tuned. OK, so pause it if you don't want or if you want to try or just keep watching if you want the answer. So how do I do it? So the thing is, first I started to think about the numbers that could give me, the product could give me 36. So I had two numbers that I remember straight away or two things, two products that I could do straight away. I could think of six times six and I could think of nine times four. Now, six times six, let's see. I could do uh, three times two times six and this would give me six times six. And six would only appear once and uh, two, actually two, three and six. And then two would be smaller or equal than Y. Uh, that, that would be number three. And then six would be the Z number, which is the sum of all of them or the bigger than all of them. Sorry, not the sum. So this would work in terms of the product. Now, the sum of the three numbers would be 11 because two plus five uh, plus three would give me five and five plus six would give me 11. So it couldn't be that one. So then I went to the next one. So I know that four times nine is going to be 36. So I only have four and nine, right? But I know that two times two is four. And that fits all of this as well, because I have two and two, X must be smaller or equal than Y, two and two, Y must be smaller than Z. If I would put nine here, that would work as well. And then Z must only appear once in the password. So rule number one fits if I would do two times two times nine, then the product of the three numbers must be equal to 36. So that's how I actually started my riddle. So as you know, this would work. And then the sum of all the three numbers must be 13. So two and two gives me four and four plus nine give me 13. So that means that the answer is two, two, nine. So again, I have four times nine that gives me 36. I can put four as a multiplication of two times two. Therefore, I get three digits and all of them or all the passwords uh, is going to fit rules number one, two and three. So that was this riddle. And as always, I'm going to give you a new riddle. So the new riddle is something that is yours. So they say this belongs to you, but everyone else uses it. Uses. <laughs> oh, my God, I cannot talk today. Uses it more. Oh, my God, I cannot say it right today. So something that belongs to you, but other people use it more than you do. So think about it. And as always, I will be giving you the answer for this riddle along with a new riddle for you guys to think about. So up to my next video. Be happy and healthy. Bye.